Hello everyone and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. We're gonna start off with this thing today. I just looked up grids. There's a grid section in the like um, open existing simulation or something and it's just a giant grid full of stars. I think like each line has the same type of star on it. Let me see. Let's zoom in and have a look here. This star is Everta and this one is Menenix and this one is Salah but they're all the same. Okay. They're all the same size and they progressively go up in size all the way up to this thing over here. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to speed up time here because it's currently on like 5 minutes per second which is not very much on the uh, grand scheme of things here. So we're going to bring it up to, I don't know, I'm going to say 5 hours per second. That didn't do anything. I think we need to go faster. How about 5 days per second? That's pretty fast, right? That's pretty fast. Five days is pretty fast. Come on, do something. Why aren't you guys moving anywhere? I thought I thought you'd be going towards each other at least a little bit at five days per second. There is gravity, right? You guys got gravity. I do appreciate that you can hear the stars when you go in here. It's kind of eerie if you ask me. Just a giant roar coming out of it. These don't have any gravity for some reason. It's just a grid of stars with no gravity whatsoever. What if we just, um, uh, we stopped it here. What if we stopped it? And we had a look here and see if there's any kind of thing that needs to be turned on. Simulation settings. Collide and fragments is on. Show more. Hmm. Gravity. Gravity is on zero. I think we should put gravity on. Uh... What did I just do? What the hell did I just do? I didn't mean to do it. Can we go back? Can we go back? What? What? Is that, um, let's go to five. Um, let's go to five minutes per second again and press play. I broke it. I broke it. We're on twenty thousand minutes per. What? The, what the hell is this over here? Hang on a second. Why? Why? We, why are you guys flying away? I didn't tell you guys to fly away. Where are you even going? Wait for me at the very least. Let's pause the game. I don't know what just happened, guys. This is the kind of shit that happens when I play this game. Everything just goes crazy. This is Salav over here. I don't know if it's the same, acting the same as it was before. I'm zooming in. I think. It's pretty far away. I'm coming. What is it? The hell did I do? I just put, I mean, I put a lot of gravity on, but what does it even mean to put gravity on when you're, when you're in a universe? Well, let's just restart the simulation, if possible, which it obviously is. Uh, let's go back to big stars again. I want to see what it takes to turn one of these stars into one of these stars over here. Okay, so this one has a mass of 10 suns. Um, it's 25,000 Kelvin. And it's 2 million kilometers, 3 million kilometers. This one is 1 sun, 1 million kilometers, and 4,000 Kelvin. Okay, so let's just see what happens if we just raise some stuff here. So let's take that, let's bring that up to, what did I say it was over here? 25. Okay, let's bring this up to 25 Kelvin. See what happens. 25 Kelvin. Okay, that did nothing. So now let's take it, and we will bring the, um, the mass up to 10 suns. All right, see if that makes a difference. 10 sun. Whoa! Okay, immediately it turns blue. What if you put it on eight? Okay, still blue. Seven, still blue. Five, still blue. Two, and now you're orange again. Okay, so there's a certain size where it just becomes a blue star. What if we made it like 20? Then it goes supernova. Okay, so got that down then. Don't want, don't want that to happen. Can we take that and just like delete it now? This is the delete button, right? Okay, you actually just press the delete button and it goes away. And now we have this giant, hard to look at gas cloud that came out of nowhere. Okay, let's restart it again. So 20 is too much. If you put it on 20, it's for some reason turns into a supernova. But you can have things that are a lot heavier than that though, right? I mean, one sun, let's put it on 11 suns. Okay, pretty big, you know? Put it on 13 suns and it goes supernova. You know what? The hell with you. This right here is the Earth with 500 moons. Don't ask me why you would put 500 moons in a simulation around Earth, but they did it. Okay, here it is. This is what it looks like if you zoom out. These are all the paths. Some of the moons are really, 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 really far away. Holy shit. What the hell is this one doing over here? Is it actually like a trail of a moon here? This last trail is just going this way. Maybe it's just Earth. I think it might be Earth hurtling through space. So the moon that's furthest away is, is this one. Um, you can see the path out here. But I don't know how to... Um, Oh, no, it went even, even further away over here. I don't know how to actually see it. I'm trying to find it in the path somewhere. Mm, oh, oh, I think I got it. This one right here, Lenatu. 0.844 moons. 
Okay, so we speed that up. That should go really far now. Go, Lenatu! We're now at 200 minutes per second. Not a whole lot's happening. Come on, get your shit together. Oh, oh, oh god. Some things are blowing up, guys. This isn't good. So I guess when you have a whole lot of moons, they eventually start hitting each other, because 500 moons is a bit much to have in one place. Okay. That's cool, so some of them are gonna get bigger, some of them are gonna disappear because they go into the other moons, and everything's gonna be fine and dandy, I suppose. I mean, it's a great way to add some fireworks to the sky if you want. You know, look, son! It's an exploding moon! <sighs> Don't you just love living in this universe? Damn. We're all gonna die, son. We're all gonna die. Okay, so, um, right now, we're at 60 minutes per second, aka one hour per second. I'm gonna put it on one second per second, just, just so everything is, you know, chill for a bit. We're gonna, we're, we're in a, um, a blank solar system right now, a blank universe. We can create whatever we want. We haven't really messed around with Earth very much, okay? We did some things at Earth, we didn't do a whole lot. You can take an Earth, like this, just stick it there, okay? It's gonna be an Earth. And isn't there a way you can go in like first person or something, or do you just zoom in on it as much as you can, and you're just kind of standing on the Earth? I think that, that might be what it is. But it's a cool way to visualize how, how big things would be if you, um, you know, if you were standing on Earth. So if you came down here, you're basically on Earth right now. You zoom in as close as you can, and you're in like a first person view of the, uh, of the universe. The only thing is, normally there'd obviously be some sort of atmosphere there. I say some sort of atmosphere, what I mean is the atmosphere which stops stars from showing up all the time. Uh, what can we do? I don't really know. Should we, should we generate like a solar system perhaps so we can look at that? Um, Earth and Moon. That's a pretty straightforward thing to do. And then we can zoom in on the Earth if we want. Um, does this Earth look better than the last Earth? I swear it does. <laughs> it's probably because I wasn't so close. Okay, we're going back to one second per second, okay? Slow down. You're spinning too fast, damn it. Are there actually like lights here? to show what would be lit up on the Earth. I don't even know where I am right now. Okay, we're in Africa. Cool. Let's go over to Canada, guys, because that's where I live. Okay, so here we are in Canada right now. Um, I'm from Newfoundland, which is this place right here. You can't see the moon from here, though. We're gonna have to speed up time so we can see the moon. All right, let's just, let's just ram on some speed here. There you go. Spin that around and then slow down again in a few seconds. Come on, there, okay, slow down. Just goes to show you how bright the United States is, how many people live in the United States. This is the United States. This is South America, way less bright. Take Africa, Africa doesn't have much light in it. And where is the moon? So if I were to be where I am right now, I would be over here. And if I looked out my window, the moon would be right over there. So it's only tiny in the sky, right? Obviously, you look up, you see a tiny little moon. People don't realize how far away the moon actually is though. When you take like a basketball and a baseball and you and you try and show it, it's really far away. So let's say for a second that the moon was actually the size of Mars. How would that look if we were standing up just looking at it from Earth? So according to this, Mars's radius is 3,390 kilometers. Which is interesting because the moon's radius is only 1,738? Really? Okay. Alright, that's, that's fine. That's fine. So we'll take the radius now and we'll bring it up to 3,390. 309. So that's how big it would look if the moon was the size of Mars and it was in the solar system and we were looking at it from Earth. Let's just pretend we're standing up on Earth right now. So how big would the moon look if it was the size of Neptune? Well, Neptune is actually 24,622 kilometers, so that's going to be pretty damn big. Boom. That's how big the moon would look if we looked at it from our, um, from our windows when we were standing on Earth. So it still doesn't even look that big in comparison, but what if the moon was the size of Jupiter? I don't know if this is going to cause the moon any problems. I don't know if it's going to magically turn into a gas giant. Because I know that some things in this game, they'll act certain ways depending on how big they are. Like, you know, the size of the star and what color it is. But Jupiter is actually freaking humongous. Jupiter. 69,611 kilometers. Okay, let's type that in. 69,000. 911 kilometers. That's how big it would look if it was the size of Jupiter. So the funny thing about this guys is the moon was revolving around the Earth But now that the moon is the size of Jupiter and it weighs seven Jupiters The Earth is probably gonna revolve around the moon. It's definitely gonna revolve around the moon But I feel like it's just gonna hit the moon now. Let's just find out. Let's speed it up and see. Let's go with One hour per second Yeah The Earth just flew right towards the moon. Look at your moon now guys. Look at it now. It's not really a moon anymore, is it? it? Almost looks like a star now. 
I don't know what you, I, I don't know how this stuff works, guys. Like, I want to do some, like, terraforming stuff, but I really don't understand it. Let's just see what happens if we, uh, if we just move some things around, okay? You can actually just take things and look at them. You can see how, how much a radius something has. You can see that the radius jumped a bunch when it, when the, when the earth hit it. What the hell? Jumped again. Okay. I'm not really sure what's... Alright, that's fine. Whatever you're doing, cool with me. How big can we make the mass of this thing before it just, like, falls apart? Ten Jupiters. Okay, no big deal, doesn't really matter. Is it slowly gaining mass? I think it's slowly gaining mass. Okay, yeah. No, it's slowly gaining radius. Let's make it 20 Jupiters. Okay, so now it's turned into a gas giant, I think. It looks like a gas giant now. It's really hard to see because of how hot it is. You can take the temperature and just um, decrease it, I think. Surface temperature right now is 3,000. Let's just bring it down to 1,000. 1,000 Celsius. Woo! That looked cool. Okay. So the way terraforming works in this game, guys, is you need to get it at the right temperature and the right atmospheric pressure and things so that it will actually um, be able to have water and things like that. So right now the moon is going through some really tough shit because it's huge <laughs> and it's just, uh, it's turned into a gas giant. I don't know what that is, though. I don't know what's happening here. Everything's just going all weird. It's still cooling down, though, okay? Let's speed it up a bit. We gotta let it cool down quicker. Wait! Wait for me, moon! Okay, it's completely cooled down now, guys. It looks a lot more boring than it was before. So how about what we do now, guys, is we will open up a solar system. We'll open up our solar system. Let's go to solar system right here, and, um... Uh, it just says solar system on it. This is, uh, kind of our solar system? What the hell is this, um... What the hell is Vestes? Is that one of the moons of something? Doesn't really seem like it's a moon of anything. It's just kind of spinning around. Oh, it might not be big enough to be a planet. Maybe that's what it is. Right now, we're in our solar system. I think it's supposed to be our nor normal solar system. There's Earth spinning around a bunch. Can we slow down here, guys? You don't need to be going 300 hours per second. Jeez. Let's go with uh, uh, one hour per second. That's a lot slower. Okay. So, there's Venus. Earth is over here. We got Mercury. Where's Mars at? Mars! Hey! I need you. There you are. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, Mars is in a bigger orbit than Earth is, so Mars is colder for the most part. Um, I don't really know, I don't really know the stats on Mars, so let's look at the stats on Mars. Here's Mars, okay? It's just hanging out being a planet. I hear what you have to do if you want to terraform this and turn it into, like, um, a habitable planet with, like, water and stuff, is you need to heat it up first. I don't really know why, but that's what I've been told by the internet. Okay, I'm gonna bring this up to 7,000 Celsius, that's, like, basically 7,000 Kelvin. Uh, I think they said online 6,000 or more in order to burn it up. There you go. So it's going to burn up, and then it's going to decrease over time. And then when it does, it should have a different, like, height map on the planet. It's going to look completely different. So let's just go ahead and speed that up, because it's going to take a while. A long while. Many hours. Okay, it's starting to look a lot cooler now, guys. Cooler is in, not as warm. Uh, but we're going to keep on going. It's uh, currently at... 3,000, no, that's radius. It's currently at 3,670 Celsius. So if we keep on going, it should keep on going down. 1,661 Celsius. Let me look at the graph here. You can usually tell how far it's going to go down based on the graph. Okay. So we're just going to keep on going. Let's say we put it on 1,000. we got to make sure it's still going to keep going down, which I think it is, because it should just keep on decreasing. Let's just go ahead and stick it on 30 again, guys. There. 30 degrees Celsius. Now, we need to go to... Oh, hold on. Stuff is happening. It doesn't look great. It looks like it's really hot still. Are you okay, bro? Everything okay? We need to go to materials. And we need to put some water on the... Whoa, okay. There you go. Look at that. All right. So, I'm trying to put a very small percentage of water on there so it doesn't just completely become a water planet. But it's not working so well. You can put a lot of water on there. Now it's 100% water. There's nothing else there. All right, I opened up a solar system again. We're going to try and do this again. I got the guide up here on how to do it. Let's see if we can make Mars have a climate like Earth. Okay, we just need to take the uh, temperature, and we need to put it up above 6,000 Kelvin. But I'm going to put it on, like, I don't know, f uh, 20,000 Kelvin. Boom. Nice and white. Okay, that means it's really, really hot, I think. This is how Mars now looks after like 70 something years. It's now the year 2084. It's still really hot, but I'm just going to take the number and bring it down a little bit at a time just to make sure everything is good. Okay. Everything seems to be good so far. Let's just take it and bring it down to like, I don't know, 20 degrees. Okay. 
Now we're at the amount that it would be if you wanted it to be like Earth. So then we can put some water in there, I guess. We need to go to climate and actually turn climate on. Enable climate. There's like an ice cap here now. And we need to zoom in and we need to add some water. This is the hard part because when you add water, it just fills up so quick. Hold on. I want to have some like, you know, stuff here. Why is this? It doesn't even look like water. Is it because it's too cold? Because I said it was supposed to be 20 degrees. Surface temperature of 100, a negative 128. No, 20. That's better. Okay, look at that. We got water now. So I guess slowly it's going to get less, I don't know, less cold. Okay, so this is Mars with water on it. I still have no idea what I'm doing in terms of climate, but I'm going to keep messing with it. You can also mess with the tilt of the planet. That's around here somewhere. You can change the axis around and stuff. Inclination. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what that's doing. Is that a bad thing that I just did? Wait a second. Mars, what the hell are you doing? You are not supposed to be way down here. That is not how you're supposed to be revolving around the sun. You're supposed to do it the way the Earth, Mercury, and Venus are doing it. So obviously, guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've been looking at some guides and stuff and trying to figure out how this works. Um, but I, I don't really get it. I don't really understand how you're supposed to make this look right. Right now, I mean, it looks okay. But I see stuff online, and it looks way better. And they got clouds and stuff. I want clouds. I'm not going to stop until I get some clouds. Oh, hang on a second. These little purple things are the clouds. I don't know why they are the way they are. But they are. I just said are a lot. Point is, <laughs> um, the atmosphere can be turned on and off like this, and then clouds can be turned on and off like this. So there are some clouds, which is cool. Um, optimize for climate view. I don't know what that does. I just clicked it, and now... Oh, it turned atmosphere and clouds off. Okay. Well, I think the clouds look kind of cool. Look at that. There's clouds floating above Mars. It's got some really snowy-looking things on it. I'm not really sure what that is. Is that supposed to be like ice and stuff? Because there's the... Um, the actual islands, and then there's also some white stuff, which looks like ice to me. But I don't really know. All I know is I managed to do something with Mars and make it look kind of like that. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to end this video here before I say anything else that makes absolutely no sense. Because I already get enough of that in my videos. Matt, you have no idea what you're talking about, and you need to shut up. Okay, well I'll shut up now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.